Good morning, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. We appreciate you watching our stream. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We wanted to jump on to be able to share some encouraging news. This morning, Austin Public Health has issued an announcement that it is moving to stage three of its COVID-19 risk-based guidelines here in Austin and Travis County. We have been at stage four for some time uh, because of the Delta variant and the spread and strain on our hospitals locally. Now the indications and trends have shown that we are downgrading to stage three. So I'm just moving down one risk level and that has changed what the Austin Public Health experts are urging us to do and follow uh, to try to prevent ourselves from getting sick. And we'll get into more about the recommendations, particularly what that means about wearing masks in public and doing certain activities. But wanted to show you really quickly what led to this decision. So this is the Austin Public Health key indicators for staging. So these are some of the metrics they use to decide which level of risk we are in at this point. And as you can see from that chart in the middle of your screen right there, the line has gone down in now to that stage three yellow bar there in the middle of the screen. And we have been there for more than a week at this point, that threshold anyway. But officially, because that trend has held, Austin Public Health has said we're now going to stage three officially. And one of the numbers they really looked at is on the left side of your screen, that hospital admission rate. So the seven day moving average is now at 19. We have seen that number continue to decline, which has helped contribute to this decision to move to stage three of the risk based guidelines. And again, in that chart in the middle of your screen, you can see that third peak that we experienced a little bit earlier this summer. It's now fallen down to where we can safely go into stage three and we can follow some of the guidelines that Austin Public Health has laid out. Now, we should also say that Dr. Desmar Walks, the health authority for Austin Travis County, has issued a statement. And she's asking us to still be cautious about what is happening. So we'll read her statement in full. She said, quote, now is not the time to let our guard down. While our numbers are dramatically better than they were at the peak of this surge, we need to remain committed with the widespread, highly transmissible Delta variant. Flu season is just beginning, and it will not take much to trigger another surge of cases and overburden our hospital systems again. Get vaccinated, get tested, and stay home if you're sick. That's, again, a statement from Dr. Desmar Walks, the health authority for Austin Travis County, about this move to stage three. So if you're wondering what exactly does that mean? How should it potentially guide what I'm doing already? Here's a look at what Austin Public Health is urging us to kind of follow at this time. They've shared these different charts for those who are fully vaccinated and those who are either partially vaccinated or have not gotten the COVID-19 shot at all. Um, for those who are vaccinated, here's the chart that Austin Public Health has shared. If you look there in the middle, again, that yellow band for stage three, there is some looser restrictions for when you are recommended to wear a mask and when you're not. So for private gatherings indoors, they're still telling people who are vaccinated to wear a mask. If it's an outdoor event, you can take it off and feel safe to do so because the uh, spread of COVID-19 is a little less than it was previously. For travel, they're still saying, you know, keep a mask on. And of course, that is still a federal rule if you're taking uh, public transit or flying at the moment here in the States. For dining, um, unmasked uh, for those who are at low risk. If you're high risk, Keep a mask on while you're inside a restaurant if you're not consuming your meal. And then there for shopping, it's recommended that you can take your mask off for that too. Again, these are all guidelines for those who are fully vaccinated, have gotten all the shots required to reach that kind of level. Now for those who are unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, again, pay attention to that yellow band right there in the middle for stage three. Masking is still recommended for most activities because of the risk of still getting sick at this time and also spreading COVID-19. I'm going to leave that up just for a moment so you all can uh, take in that information. But if again, are, if you are just joining us, we have information to share at this time about Austin Travis County moving back to stage three of its COVID-19 risk guidelines. 
trends have continued downward with new cases and hospital admissions. So the experts there at Austin Public Health announced today that they can safely say that we are officially moving to stage three. We had been at stage four for some time, and then earlier this summer we had been at that peak, stage five, but now conditions have improved enough that we move back to stage three. I also want to let you all know that we have information on our website right now in this particular story where you can read much more in depth about what this means for you. Just wanted to pull that up really quickly so you all can see the headline right there reads mask or no mask austin travis county moves to stage three covid 19 risk-based guidelines our digital reporter grace reader wrote this article breaking down what this means exactly and also sharing some of the reaction from austin public health leaders if you are still curious about what this means for masking we have this really interesting uh, kind of slide chart right here where you can break down what this means for you if you're vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, here are some things you should follow. So just want to redirect you to that particular website. It will have all the information you need there and other details about the coronavirus and local trends. We have all that information available right now on KXAN.com and you can find it right on your smartphone if you downloaded the KXAN News app. So please do that if you haven't done so already. We also have information about the weather. You can see right there, it is a dreary day here in Austin on this Tuesday. A lot of rainfall coming and even more is forecast for the rest of this week. So please tune in at KXAN News at noon. Coming up in about an hour and a half, we'll have the latest details about the forecast. You can also find that information on KXAN.com. Once again, I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio. Thank you all again for watching our stream. We'll see you back here another time with other updates throughout the day, so please stay with us. Please uh, be safe and healthy out there, everybody, and take care.